Hi, hi, hello! Welcome, or welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to some Rizzle Reads! That was illegible. Inaudible? What's the word when you can't hear what someone's saying? That word. <laughs> yes, that was quite the intro, wasn't it? No. <laughs> so, today's a video I have a dos books. A dos. Dos. Tour. Tour. Um, to talk about. And um, they're very much in the Greek era. I'm in my Greek era. It happens sometimes. I like a bit of the Greek mythology, you know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What am I? What am I even on about today? So let's start with Pandora by Susan Stokes a Chapman. So this is more. I want to say like more modern but it is set in 1799 so not very modern but you know not ancient Greece Pandora Pandora Dora Blake as she's mostly known as short for Pandora Dora you get it yeah okay Dora Blake is an aspiring jewellery artiste. Um, she lives with her very sassy uncle. Yeah, he's a sassy, sassy man. Uh, they live atop her late parents' formerly very beloved, very famed antique shop. Because her sassy uncle is a sassy, sassy man, it's maybe not the best most reputable place anymore so one day this uh, mysterious vase shows up so there's a lot of mysteriousness and sussiness <laughs> i'm liking that word today there's a lot of that going on not just around the shop but you know around town around the people that's been close to connected to this vase it's a very interesting take. I want to say modern, like I said, but you know, 1799 isn't very modern in these kinds of standards, but, it's, but more modern than ancient Greece. Basically, Dora's just trying to live her life, trying to establish herself as this jewelry, jewelry artiste. I can't speak, but fine. She's, it's not very easy for her being 1799 and a woman. You know, women are not allowed to do things on their own, are they? No, no. Uh, so while she's trying to make this happen for herself because she's, she's, she's old enough to be living on her own as all her uncle tells her. Um, yeah, so it's uh, basically he, he wants to send her to the whole house. Yeah. Lovely man, lovely man. So while that is going on, she's also finding out more about her past. I'm, I'm not liking this. Thank you, son. So she's finding out more about the past and what really happened to her parents because there was an accident and she was there but she was saved. Who, what, where, one? Who did it? Who, was it an accident or did someone set it up to look like an accident? I need to... You know, these are the questions, these are the burning questions we have and... Um, we find out. I really enjoyed this book. It was one of those where you want more, but also it was perfect the way it is. It was absolutely, mm, yes. Read this if you like a bit of a Greek myth and you know, Pandora's box-ish kind of thing, because that's, that's what it is. That's, that's basically it. Like the title didn't hint you towards that. Right, and now I need to, I, I need to, um, 
This is an angle. Sure. I'm looking very crooked. I'm not liking the sun right now. Why are you doing this to me, sun? It's literally... Okay. Moving on and trying to ignore this. <laughs> Next book I have is Ariadne, which might not be the way you pronounce the name, but it's by Jennifer Saint. Anyway, and uh, it's stunning, isn't it? Stunning. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is a novel. <laughs> this is a novel. Yeah. This novel is a retelling of the Theseus and the Minotaur myth. You know, but from the perspective of Ariadne, who was, is, am, are, who, what, where. Ariadne is the princess of Crete and also the Minotaur's sister. Because, you know, it's normal. She is the one who helps Theseus conquer the maze and the Minotaur and all that, making him king of Crete. Something like that. And then, you know, as the story goes, he betrays her. Of course he does, because he's a man, isn't he? Why am I hating on men today? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it went away. Cool. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't comfortable. So after she is betrayed, oh, it's coming back. After she is betrayed, uh, the the book, the story focuses more on the tale of Ariadne and Dionysus. So. There's that. So this, oh fuck's sake son. <laughs> so this is a story which I'm more familiar with the character names rather than the story, the myth behind them. Um, so I haven't read a whole lot about these people before, these characters. It was a interesting situation. I don't know. Uh, it was a good time. It was. I really liked reading about, you know, other characters than the ones we always see and hear about. So, that was fun. It was fun. Although, I think this is supposed to be a more feminist take on the whole thing. Being from Ariane's perspective rather than, you know, the man. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, I'm not too sure I agree with the feminist part, but still a good time, still a good read. I very much enjoyed it. If I see it from the side of a feminist, no, <laughs> but a good book. A good book, a good story. It's made me want to read more from Jennifer Saint, this being the very first book I've read of her, so, you know. There's that happening and there's the sun again. I don't like it. <laughs> this needs to stop. <laughs> wow. <sighs> yeah. So that was my short recent reads, hopefully. Um, mostly this. I d oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you've read any of these books, please do let me know. If you have any, like, Greek myth, myth, myth tellings, what is a myth telling? Wow. If you have any Greek myth retellings of any sort, recommendations like that, do let me know. Because I do love me a bit of that. Yeah, so, well, I think I'm going to stop now. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, I hope the sun will not be like this. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.